We've got another word problem for the GED question of the day. Let's take a look. Todd wants to put a border around his living room. If the room is 16 feet by 14 feet, oh, how's that for a typo? Can we pretend like that says feet? So if the room is 16 feet by 14 feet, how many feet of border should he buy? Okay, so a lot of students read this and right away they know that it has to be an area or perimeter problem, um, but a lot of students aren't sure which one is it. Um, and so let's take a look here and here's some clues in this problem. Um, one of the clues is where you put a border. So we're looking at a border. Um, think about if you have a um, room. Do Does border go in a line around the room? Or does border cover an entire shape? Well, if you know anything about border, if you lived in the 80s like I did, you know about border, we love border, you know that it goes around in a line. Another clue. It says, if the room is 16 feet by 14 feet, that's not the clue because that could be area or perimeter. But I see here, how many feet of border should he buy? Notice that it's plain old linear feet, regular feet. It's not square feet. Um, one thing I know for sure is that square feet or any kind of square units always refers to area. So the fact that this is just plain old linear feet gives me another clue that this is a perimeter problem. So again, two clues that this is a perimeter, the way that border goes around a room in just a line, and the fact that this is plain old linear feet that they've asked about. And so this is a perimeter problem. So now we know that the living room is 14 feet by 16 feet. It doesn't specify what shape the living room is, but when it doesn't specify, just go ahead and assume that a room is going to be a rectangle. I know not all rooms are rectangular, but unless they tell you otherwise, assume that it's a rectangle. Okay, now I want to go all the way around my room. I want to find the perimeter, so I'm going to need this side right here, which is 16 feet. Plus I'm going to have to go across this wall here, another 14 feet. Plus, I'm going to need to go around on this wall, too. If the wall over there was 16 feet, of course, the wall here is 16 feet. So that'll be another 16 feet. And finally, the very last bit to go around my room would be to put border on that wall right there. And again, if the wall across from this is 14 feet on a rectangle, then this is also 14 feet. And I can see, um, not surprisingly, that all I'm going to do here is add up all the sides of my rectangle. And of course, we know that by the definition of perimeter, you can just add up all the sides to get the perimeter. So 16 and 14 will give me 30. This 16 and 14 will also give me 30, so I have a total of 60 feet of border to get around this living room. Okay, great. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments.